Hey everybody, Kendra here. So whenever you're entering into a relationship, it's really important to know what your belief system is, what your values are, um, where your hard stops are for being in a relationship. Like I can't be with someone who's not spiritual, so I'm not gonna date someone who is agnostic or atheist, okay? I don't want kids, I'm not gonna date someone who wants kids. And it's very important to know this at the beginning and do not self-abandon for, for being like liked by somebody, okay? Know this and communicate this to the person who you start dating. And people may say, oh, it's too soon or oh, blah, blah, blah. But as time goes on, it gets more challenging to disconnect from somebody because you're emotionally connecting with them all of the time, right? And the breaking off point gets more challenging. So then if you don't talk about this and you're basically engaged, then you find out your partner wants kids and you don't, then you're more than likely going to abandon yourself and be like, well, okay, I guess we'll get married. Maybe he'll change his mind. And then he's thinking, maybe she'll change her mind. And then five years down the road, either y'all get, y'all split up or you get pregnant and you don't want to be pregnant. Okay. And then you're just messing your kid up and you're messing up the relationship. There's a lot of resentment there. And so talking about this stuff is just so important. Whenever I first started dating Thomas, my boyfriend, I had these Google documents that I had just filled up with what I want in a partner, what I don't want in a relationship, what I do want in a relationship, right? And I, I even sent those to him. I was like, well, this is what I have to have. And if you can't do this, then we're not, you know, I can't date you. And then there were some things that I was really rigid on. And then some things that I was more flexible on. And, and we talked about it. And I did this because all of my other relationships were shit because I was running off old programming. I was running off hurts and wounds. I was running off anxious attachment patterns. And that wasn't helpful. Okay, yes, I did go to the other end of the spectrum. I, in hindsight, I realized that I was really anxious because it was really challenging for me just to get to know somebody and ask them these things in a way that is more inviting, not just giving them a Google document. I learned that I was anxious and that I should have done that basically, right? Like I should be, have enough self-worth and enough self-esteem and enough groundedness in my body to date people and get to know if they're what I want or don't want by, by dating them, hanging out with them, texting them, calling them, whatever, right? I realize that now. However, I am in one of the healthiest conscious relationships I've ever been in. I'm not saying that this is because I did that, I will never break up with this person. Because I did that, um, we will never do anything to each other that is going to harm the other person emotionally, you know, or mentally, because not physically, obviously. Um, that's not what this guarantees. There's not a guarantee with doing these things. But what there is, is there's not abandoning yourself for another person. Because we abandon ourselves too much anyway. We are oppressed and suppressed by society and our family with their values and beliefs. And then we take them on. And then a lot of them are suppressing who we really are. We are our own unique souls living life in our own unique way because we have soul contracts to fulfill, in my opinion. We have a life that we need to be living. And the true us, who we are, needs to be living that life. And when we're hiding behind other people's values and beliefs, then we're hiding behind a mask and we are not ourselves. And when we're little, it makes sense to abandon because we, our survival depends on these people around us. But as an adult, especially in the day and age we're in right now, that's not really the case. So we have to remember that those parts of ourselves are triggered and traumatized, but we have to let them come up and speak we have to soothe them and be like, look, this isn't what's going to happen. I'm definitely going to tell this guy I don't want kids because whew, I don't. Okay. And it's okay. Little anxious part of me that is really upset and really wants this guy's attention and love. Um, but this is just not the one for me. Right. So again, just honesty, 
in a clear and kind way is re is the best policy. I'm looking at what I had written just to make sure that I did everything or said everything that I wanted to say. Okay. All right. If you value the content I create, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye.